so i'm back with another tutorial and this time we are making what sweet potato cupcakes okay so we're gonna start jump right into um this video just as usual i'm gonna be showing you the ingredients that i'm using here go my spices right here some vanilla um paste some light brown sugar some butter um flavoring my measuring spoons measuring cups uh, my sweet potatoes my three eggs my jello and of course my mixer so first we're going to be starting off with our cake mix right and we're going to be applying three cups of cake mix one bag is equivalent to three cups of cake mix okay so we're going to use the whole bag and then we're going to go in with our brown sugar we're going to use one cup of light brown sugar and we're going to press that down to make sure that it's a full cup um and we're going to go ahead and throw that into our cake mix then we're going to go ahead and add in some um apple pie spice and some allspice and some ground cinnamon now with the all spikes you only need a little bit okay it's just to bring out the flavor and all of the ingredients that we're applying in there already now we're going to go in with um a half a cup of jello vanilla pudding and we're going to mix this on low speed we're just going to get all the ingredients in there mixed up together and now we're going to go ahead and apply our sweet potatoes um these were um chilled and cooled overnight um and i'm just scooping it out and i'm going to place it into my uh cake stand not cake stand i'm tripping my um mixer so i didn't parade these don't beat me up about it okay you don't necessarily have to if your sweet potatoes are stringy then yes go ahead and do your thing but i didn't do that okay because i forgot so listen I keep telling y'all that we you learn it just as well as I'm learning. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in three eggs. And I'm going to um put in a half a cup of cooking oil, vegetable oil. You can use vegetable oil or um canola. Canola oil? I think it's canola oil. I'm using vanilla vegetable oil though. Okay. So then I'm gonna go ahead and put in one teaspoon, one tablespoon of um vanilla bean paste and i didn't use any um wet ingredients for this mixture which i should have i should have used like at least a half a cup of um of milk or creamer but i didn't do that uh but they still came out nice and moist uh they was just a little bit more dense without the uh, so now I'm going to be applying my sweet potato mix into my cupcake grinder. And um, you just want to fill these up halfway so that they can pretty much uh, all rise evenly. So now we're going to go on with um, the icing. So I'm using one stick of unsalted butter. And I'm using one pack of cream treat, cream cheese frosting, frosting, frosting. No, cream cheese. I no, cream cheese. I'm gonna use one pack of cream cheese, cause I don't know. Just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this correctly this time. Okay, I don't really like doing voiceovers. That's why most of my videos don't have voiceovers to them, because this right here, I get a little nervous when I'm sitting here talking to y'all. But I'm just going to mix both of these ingredients together until they are well combined. And then I'm going to go ahead and add two pounds of sugar, which is one bag. Okay. So, one stick of butter, one pack of cream cheese, and one bag of powdered sugar. And I'm going to mix this on medium to high. So that is well combined and then as it gets stiffer um then i'll go ahead and pretty much see if that's where i want it to be so 
So now I am cutting up some fresh sweet potatoes and I'm going to make a, I'm just going to make some caramel candy yams pretty much. I'm going to make candy yams for the toppings of my uh, cupcakes. So I'm just skinning this, the taking the skin off my potatoes with the potato pillar and um, go ahead and wash your potatoes and everything like that. Um, the way you would make candy yams for Thanksgiving is the way that I make them. Um, I'm, this is the way I'm making them right now. So I'm just going to be cutting these into um, large halves. And then I'm going to pretty much dice them into um, squares. So that way I can go ahead and just apply them right on top of my cupcake. So here I am taking one cup of sugar, white granulated sugar, one cup of dark, okay, well, I guess I didn't take one cup. I thought I took one cup of dark brown sugar, but I guess I didn't. One stick of butter and a little bit of vanilla extract and two tablespoons or three tablespoons of ground cinnamon one tablespoon of apple pie spice and one tablespoon of vanilla bean paste and we're going to add in one cup of water go ahead and give that a stir around complete stir and once that finish coming to um, a boil and tender and soft we're going to go ahead and apply our cream cheese frosting to our cupcakes and we're going to go ahead and apply our sweet potato to out the top of our cupcake now these sweet potatoes were hot okay they were piping hot they just came off the stove all right i was just trying to hurry up and finish this video for y'all and i was just like i know i really shouldn't be putting this on here but you know this is pretty much what the sweet potatoes look like once they was finished um it looks so good they taste even better than they look i'm just letting you know that right now and um go ahead and just go ahead and top that on there with your uh cream cheese frosting and serve it to your guests or for your household for your family members or whoever the kids birthday party see how hot it is because it's melting my cream cheese frosting i was a little disappointed because i wanted to take some pictures for my thumbnail but that ain't work and and my my syrup was a little stringy because of the yeah but this is what my family thought about the cupcakes i don't want to be in the vlog how is it it's it's amazing. Oh my gosh, you made this? Mm hmm I can't believe it. Mm hmm It's very decadent. It's delicious. Delicious. The cake itself is not too sweet. It's just right. And then the yams is perfect. You can taste the sweet potato in it? You definitely can taste the sweet potato. Yeah, it tastes like a sweet potato pie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I get for the And then what about the um sweet potato on top? Sweet potato on top. Mm -hmm. Just cream cheese frosting. Perfect touch. Actually, the entire day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Delicious.